meant to come here, we were meant to go to Palmerston. Well, tomorrow we're sailing towards that sunset, towards Palmerston. Whales off the back. Oh, look at him go. We're gonna see a lot of those. We're headed to Palmerston. Uh, freaky little ad Oh uh, Man, the reading the reviews is just classic. I'll read one out to you later on. Oh, there's another one. It's gonna be a mean time. Hope you enjoy this episode of Sailing Nick Out. Bella's gonna free the anchor for us. Yep. Got lots of bits of rock and stuff. And uh, hopefully, we just saw a whale come up right here. Hopefully we can jump him with her and uh, she get out. Bella, we didn't see it. No, we didn't. We'll it's catch. a bit of a shame, but we'll get to do it I reckon we'll time. catch that whale in Palmerston. Yep. How long does the bus take, eh? Palmerston Atoll, which is an interesting place. It was settled by a man called William Masters back in the 1800s with his three Polynesian wives and basically all the people that live there today are still descended from that one man and his three wives and they're all related to each other and they live in this little community on this tiny island just doing some motor sailing we've got about 12 knots 13 knots worth of wind and uh we just need to get there uh we're hoping to arrive by sort of three o'clock tomorrow afternoon when there's enough light in the sky if we were to sail, it'd be too late, and uh, you don't want to be going into these places in the dark. So, uh, motoring means power is cranking, means that I can edit vlogs, I mean the PlayStation is running, and all the computers. It's kind of fun motor sailing. We're just coming into Palmerston, and as we're coming in, I just wanted to read you this review. I found it pretty interesting. This is what this lady says about Palmerston. She says, imagine taking 60 members of your closest family. First, imagine having 60 members of your closest family whose relationship to you is not only known, but all within first cousin range. Put them all in the same office environment. Make them work for two different governments in 20 administrative capacities. Make them all quite Christian. Then stick them on an island roughly the size of a city block. Drop the island 350 miles from even the next largest stop. This is a way to make a short temper breed true. Run supplies in and out every three or four months, taking islanders on and off in broad looping multiple year runs to get health care provisions and spouses. Then just to make it lively, parade roughly 50 boats with yachties from every country in the world, renowned for their independence and eclecticism, past these people every year. Make it a cultural imperative that the islanders offer every possible courtesy and hospitality to these foreigners in exchange for trade goods and services. Then let the whole thing simmer for about 150 years. This is officially the world's largest tempest in the world's smallest teapot. Interesting. So we are very curious to find out what Palmerston is actually like. I wonder if it will be like this. So we made it to anchor and the guys are just coming over uh, to collect some tobacco that we have brought for them. Oh, they don't were... say anything about that. It might not be these guys. Oh, oh. Yeah. So we can't say anything. We'll fill you in later. <laughs> We're going to meet the locals who intermarry between cousins. You don't know that. I have got funny teeth. They're just lovely people. We'll see. We'll see. We are checking into Palmerston. We've already checked in at Atataki, so I have some paperwork, which I'm sure this lovely man wants to see. Yes, right. I just, I just, I just, I just, and the boat papers. Our security. So that went pretty good, and uh, they did tell us that the moorings, we can't trust them, and to put our anchor just off the bottom so that if the mooring breaks, uh, eventually our anchor will hit the reef. Uh, so we're gonna do that now. Our 
arrival to Palmerston was pretty sweet. The guys were waiting for us on the mooring boys and they were the customs and the biosecurity and the guys that run the mooring. So everything was so easy, they were so friendly. Um, they're coming back today to take us in, give us a tour around and some lunch. Apparently the snorkeling in by their house is really amazing too, so we're gonna go see all that today. Sugar's just hanging out. Whoa, <laughs> something scared her. Here's our ride. In 1862, William Masters from Lancashire, that's in England, settled here with his three wives and 26 children. He divided the island and the motus into sections for each of the three families with strict rules of intermarriage. Today, 58 people are living on the island, all connected somehow to William Masters, except for some people employed by the Cook's government like a nurse and some teachers. Finally, we landed on Palmerston. Yeah. And what's that in the distance? Right behind us is the good ship, the Riri, that wrecked the mooring ball failed out where we are and they ended up on the reef. Uh, Edward dragged it here and he's obviously using it for scrap because there's not much left of it. <laughs> Let's go have a look. It's pretty wrecked. Pretty wrecked, isn't it, Davey? The old Riri. That was back in 2011. Oh, uh, cool. Yep, bit of storage for the old fishing rods, the fishing gear. Good that they use everything here. Just walking along and uh, going to meet, I uh, guess, our family that's going to host us. Um, or not sure what really. So, um, this, is, this is Edward here, and this is his house. And that's his mother's house over here. Cool. This is the isolated side of the island. Is it? Really? Yeah. Quiet side. Oh, where, good. Where you can just relax. And how many people on the island now? About 35, I think. 35, 35 people yeah. on the island? Yeah. How long have you lived here for, Edward? All my life here. All your life? Well, I mean, you, were you born here? I've been in and out, yeah. Yeah. Are you related to William Masters? William Masters is my grandfather. Is wow. He? Really? I think I'm the first. Fourth generation, generation yeah. Wow. Great grandfather. Yeah, great, great, great. Grandfather. Big water containers. Once rainy season comes, I guess they want to fill those puppies up. And behind me, Jazz is uh, giving them the contraband. I know what they're going to enjoy. Bit of a swap for some New Zealand currency. Some tobacco. Kids have found a ball. So, a couple of American families, and of course, Leon from our friends on Boga here. Jasper and Kylie. And here's all the crew. Say hi. Hey. Just sit, just sit. Oh, oh. There you go. I've learned that it's very tricky for them to get supplies. They get their cousins in Rarotonga to buy them supplies when they know there's a ship coming. But like a ship came two days ago and it didn't give them any warning, so basically had none of their stuff on it. And the only ship they're guaranteed to know definitely comes is at Christmas. So it's a pretty tough life. Um, but it's also a very beautiful life. Um, the lady I was talking to, she lived in New Zealand for a couple of years and she said it was so hard waking up every morning in the cold to go to work. And over here it's just a pretty idyllic lifestyle. New Zealand tops up this economy here, gives them a bit of cash every year. In fact, these guys are welcome to become New Zealand citizens. It's not uh, a retrospective arrangement though. Uh, it would take me about five years to become a citizen of Palmerston if they so chose. Uh, there are government jobs on the island and they're obviously the most well-paid ones and uh, that means that there's a good economy of circling cash here. The people that don't have the government got jobs, they're out spearfishing uh, parrotfish, selling them to the other locals and that's how everybody survives here on Palmerston.
These are the, the roads of Palmerston, beautifully kept sand roads, and that's the main intersection, I believe. It's even got a street There's lamp a street right in the middle of it. in the middle of this intersection with a palm tree. Right there. <laughs> There's an interesting thing about sailing is we all pretty much head in the same direction and so these boats that have come here and moored at Palmerston with us, we know all these guys now. We've run into them at different islands and and uh, it's a pretty kind of social thing this sailing around the world. You guys keen on school though? This is the local school. Lucky to go to school here. Sneak peek in the classrooms. Like doing some good Bit of work. stuff going. <laughs> the oh. outdoor multi purpose classroom. Oh, look, this is a little map of um, test. 10 out of 10. Got a map of Palmerston. <laughs> Got a random bike. Yeah, all the same, right? So if you use more power, you pay more, right? Yeah. Got the solar <laughs> energy here 200 plus 40 watt panels that will charge some um, lithium ion batteries that exist in here. If it's a cloudy day and those batteries aren't totally charged, the generator will kick in and top up those batteries because man, those batteries are like gold for these dudes. Um, otherwise they'd have to replace them. And uh, they use about 5,000 litres of diesel, only 5,000 litres of diesel to keep that generator running annually, which is pretty amazing. Local graveyard. Oh, it's the dead center of town. It's the dead center of town. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a, a dad joke. It's a dad joke. Yeah. She just used one of my jokes. Yeah. I was just told that they town. still uh, <laughs> do marriage, like cousin between cousin, oh, and uh, that's not frowned upon at all. But most of the young people, they will marry people yeah, offshore these days. So I think it's a good idea. Imagine marrying your cousin. Uh, yeah. Here we are on the main street, Palmerston. We have a church, we have some buildings, a lot of nice sand. It's like tropical wild west. Yeah, it's awesome, right? See this house here? It's actually an original one from William Master's house and it's actually a shipwreck. Really? The wood. That's cool. Huge. Like, there's no way you can find it. Oh, this look at this timber. That's huge, right? That's mad. So that's from an old ship? Yeah. Man, that's beautiful, huh? I don't know. You might not find this sort of thing beautiful. I love rusty metal and weathered timbers I like that. Silver, though, but, you know. Beautiful. I wouldn't even mind a house like that with some mod cons on the inside. And so where rests William? Oh, uh, this is just ah, oh, there he is, grave. William Masters. Yeah. We're, and so where are his? Lived for seventy-eight. Yes, okay. pretty cool. And so he split this island up between his three kids, and so all of the land here is is family land. I guess you can imagine in a big trust that's going to roll over forever. No one can ever buy land here. It's always will exist within these three big family units. Okay, so we've had lunch. We've had a tour. What do we think of the island? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Interesting community vibes. We like the solar panels and the battery. That was exciting. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite. The solar panels and the batteries. It's kind of small town. Yeah. I think the longer you stayed here, the more politics you'd recognize that there was happening on this island. Yeah, it could be a tricky place to live. Yeah. <laughs> I would find it difficult with the supplies. What about you? What do you reckon? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a hard time doing a. It doesn't look bad, does it? Oh yes. Take the boat down, eh? The water's dying off tomorrow, right? So I definitely don't want to burn diesel right now. How about you guys? No, we don't want to. We just used up about five tanks, five or six tanks, filling up our um, tank, and we don't have masses left over, so we we prefer to sail as much as possible as well. Palmerston, well, it was like. 
a cool little town, but other than that, it sucked pretty much. Why did it suck? It was a rolly anchorage, and we weren't couldn't get in the dinghy. We couldn't go anywhere, so we're pretty stoked to leave. Where are we going? We're headed to Beverage Reef, which is essentially just a reef with a pass and a lagoon that's full of crayfish. Yep. Well, that'll be our next week's episode. And what that's do you guys good. think of Palmerston? Uh, it was the most horrible anchorage I've ever been to. We were just sleeping there. Uh, so yeah, and but the ang the like the whole island was really cool. But the people had the strange like blinking problem. They go like this. Yeah. <laughs> every three seconds. Why do you reckon they have a strange blinking problem? I think it's probably due to inbreeding because they all marry cousins and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're all well, related. Yeah, okay, yeah. maybe, maybe. Nah, he's so Jazz is filming. chatting to Love Jasper me. now and Nika and Bogue are off to be retreat like the kids said. This place, man, I wouldn't bother coming unless it's dead calm. It was the worst anchorage we've ever been to. Uh, next week on Sailing Nico, you're totally gonna love Beverage Reef. Uh, thanks for tuning in, dudes.